The following is a special presentation of Retro Sports Network, home of the champions of the past, present, and or future. And welcome to this special broadcast on the stream or on the channel where we pay tribute to Tommy Lasorda. The great Los Angeles Dodger manager died, I believe, on Friday. And so we're going to replay his first chance to win a world championship. Game six of the 1981 World Series from Yankee Stadium. And just like the other two World Series where Lasorda faced the Yankees, this time it was the Yankees' turn to win the first two games. The Dodgers won the first two in 77 and 78. The Yankees won the first two in 81. And then the Dodgers steamrolled. They won all three in Los Angeles. And so now they come back to New York with a chance to win their first world championship since 1965. And Tommy Lasorda is at the helm. They also, of course, won in 88, but you knew that anyway. But if you think that I could get... The Dodgers, with that regular season stats, to beat the Oakland Athletics in 1988, well, you know, I got some pasta sauce and some Slim Fast for you. So, as played lineups, and there is no DH in the American League Park in this World Series. So, Tommy John will hit for the Yankees, and so will Burt Hooten for the Dodgers. And so, one last for the one who bled Dodger Blue. It's the Dodgers and the Yankees next on Retro Sports Network. As Retro Sports Network presents Game 6 of the 1981 World Series between the National League champion Los Angeles Dodgers and the American League champion New York Yankees. And today's game is brought to you by DigitalDice.com, the best darn podcast on the web for your sports simulation and replay needs. Find us today on Spotify, iTunes, or Spreaker, or wherever else five podcasts are listed. And if you don't remember, it is Gene Michael that is managing the New York Yankees. Billy Martin is in Oakland with the Yankees beat to get to this World Series. This is the strike year, and so it was a year full of pitching. They played 110 regular season games, split season for the playoffs. The Dodgers had to get past the Houston Astros to get to the NLCS. They barely beat the Montreal Expos in five games to get to the World Series. That's the infamous Rick Monday homer in the top of the ninth of Game 5 up in Montreal, and they get to the World Series. The Yankees, as Tommy John continues to take his warm-up tosses, beat Milwaukee in the American League Divisional Series. Little did we know that that would become an annual thing, the Divisional Series, not the flogging of Milwaukee. They beat Billy Martin's Oakland A's in the American League Championship Series and were favored because they had home field advantage in the 81 Series to win it all. And so Tommy John says, I'm ready. Let's meet the lineup that will face Tommy in Game 6 of this World Series on a cool and potentially rainy night in the Bronx. Davey Lopes leads off at second base. Bill Russell is at short. He'll bat second. Steve Garvey will play first and bat third. Ron Say at third will clean up. Dusty Baker in left will bat fifth. Pedro Guerrero starts the game in center field. He moved over to right at one point. Rick Monday's a right fielder for the Dodgers in 81. He'll bat seventh. The only lefty to face Tommy John. Steve Yeager behind the plate goes eighth. And Burt Hooten on the hill will bat ninth. John went nine and eight in 20 starts. He's 38 years old. With a 2.63 ERA and 140 in the third innings, 135 hits, 10 homers. He walked 39 and struck out 50. And he is the very definition of a Bugs Bunny fastball, uh, 81 miles an hour. And to say that Tommy John is a ground ball pitcher is to say that I like ice cream. If Bob Watson at first gets 15 putouts, I like the Yankees' chances tonight. Dave Winfield is an 8 and a 9 in left, and if they win this one tonight, he may not be Mr. May for long. Jerry Bumphrey is a 4 and a 5 in center. Reggie Jackson, who was West Coast bound as soon as this World Series is over, is a 4 and a 5 in right. Craig Nettles, it's hard to see him as a 5 at third, but that's how the game rates him. Larry Milbourne, over from Seattle, 
is a three at short. Willie Randolph did not play in the 78 series. He is front and center tonight as a six at second. And Bob Watson gets his chance to win a World Series. He's a three at first. Rick Cerrone had the unfortunate misfortune of replacing Thurman Munson behind the plate, but he's here as a seven and a four. And Tommy John is a seven on the mound. It did not make an error. Damien Lopes... Probably will bunt this because he's a 10. 206 in 81. Five homers and 17 RBI. The Dodgers win. They win the World Series. The Yankees win. They would have played a proverbial game seven on Thursday night. This is from Wednesday, October 28th, 1981. Pitch to Lopes. He squares. It's down. John will pick it up. Throws to Randolph covering. And that's how this one starts. One out for Billy Russell at 233. No homers and 22 RBI. Pitch from John. There's a little number back up the middle. John throws to first. Two out for Steve Garvey at 283. Ten homers and 64 RBI. So John from the wind. Ground ball to Randolph over to Watson, and that will retire the side. Dodgers go down in order. We go to the bottom of the first, no score. So Bert Hooten, who had such success in our 78 replay, is going to try to nail down his first real-life World Series ring. He went 11-6 for the Dodgers. In 81, a 228 ERA, 142 in the third innings, 124 hits. Three homers, 33 walks, and 74 strikeouts. All of 31 is happy in 81. He's a ground ball plus pitcher. I'm surprised that he's actually rated higher at that than Tommy John. The fastball tops out at 86. And this will be the lineup he'll face. It's Willie Randolph at second leading off for the Yankees. Jerry Mumphrey in center will bat second. Dave Winfield in left will hit third. Reggie Jackson is trying to be the straw that stirs the drink. He'll clean up. Bob Watson at first will bat fifth. Craig Nettles at third will go sixth. Rick Cerrone behind the plate goes seventh. Larry Milbourne at short will bat eighth. And Tommy John, who did actually have to hit until they came over to the Yankees, it will bat ninth and through nine pitches in the first. Defensively for the Dodgers, Dusty Baker, a 7 and a 4 in left. Pedro Guerrero, a 2 and a 5 in center. If there was ever the reason why the National League should have a DH, that's it. Rick Monday, a 6 and a 3 in right. Ron Say is a 6 at third. Billy Russell is a 7 at short. Davy Lopes, a 5 at second. Steve Garvey, a 5 at first. Steve Yeager, a 7 and an 8 behind the plate, already platooning with Mike Sosha. And Bert Hooten is a 7 on the mound with a 1,000 fielding percentage. Randolph, 232, two homers and 24 RBI. Hooten starts the ball game with a line drive down the line and left. And somebody from Clovis, California, who doesn't know who to root for, makes that catch. So the count is a ball and two strikes to Randolph. Ball four. He lost him. And that's the first walk. Here's Jerry Mumphrey, also played for the Cardinals. At 307, six homers and 32 RBI. Got him. A 1 2 in there at the knees at 86. One out for Dave Winfield. Dave Winfield may be the biggest free agent acquisition of all time at this point in baseball history. And. This would be his lone World Series. 294, 13 homers, and 68 RBI. Snap throw to first. Garvey has Randolph back, and the count is a ball and no strikes. Pitch from Hooten. Slow roller to Russell. Takes it to bag himself for one. Over to Garvey, and that will be two. So a 6 3 double play, and that'll bring up. Well, that retires the side. How about that? So the pitcher's best friend. No runs, no hits, no errors. Nobody left after one. No score. 
So brings up Ron Say, Dusty Baker, and Pedro Guerrero. Say at 288, 13 homers and 50 RBI. In the left field, back goes Winfield. That'll stay in the yard. One out. Wind blowing in from center at 13. For Baker at 320, nine homers and 49 RBI. Dodgers, of course, under Lasorda, won the pennant in 77 and 78, including taking the first two in New York in 77. Won the first two in Los Angeles in 78. Pitch to Baker. There's a ground ball to Watson. Takes it to the bag himself. One out. The Reds win the division in 79. The Astros and Dodgers finish the 1980 season tied for first place. And the Dodgers insisted on using Dave Goltz in a one-game playoff instead of some kid by the name of Fernando Valenzuela. And, of course, this was the year the Dodgers would win it all. Guerrero at 300, 12 homers, and 48 RBI. Pitch from John is a fly ball left center field. Mumphrey with lots of room to it. Three out. So no runs, no hits, and no errors. We go to the bottom of the second. No score. Reggie at 237, 15 homers, and 54 RBI. Watson and Nettles to follow. Ground ball, base hit, right side in the hole, and the Yankees have their first hit. Brings up Watson at 212, six homers and 12 RBI. Replacing Chris Chambliss, who would find his way to Atlanta. Got him. A 1-2 fastball, swung on him, missed to 86, one out. For Mr. Nettles, who's at 244. 15 homers and 46 RBI. Got him. A 2-2 fastball swung on and missed at 87. And so here's Cerrone. 244, two homers and 21 RBI. Hooten's already got a good morning and a good afternoon. Will he get a good night? It's a line drive to Lopes, and that will retire the side. So Reggie... Gets a single and holds on to first. No runs, a hit, no errors. We go to the third, no score. For Rick Monday, what a magnificent year for Monday. 315, 11 homers, and 25 RBI. Of course, the biggest home run of his life isn't in that number. That's the one he hit against Montreal in Game 5 of the NLCS up in Montreal. Pitch to Monday. Gone! Right down the line in right field, and that's gone. And so the Dodgers lead one nothing. Seems kind of fitting, no? Here it is again. Well, it's not so wrong. Just a laser shot down that line and right. And it is one nothing Los Angeles. So here's Jaeger. 209, three homers and seven RBI. And so Lasorda has a one run lead to play with. Pitch to Jaeger. There's a fly ball to right back. Goes Jackson in the corner, and Reggie will make the catch one out. Brings up Hooten at 190, no homers and three RBI. Lasorda would get two more playoff appearances in the 80s. They would come off a of close in 82. Them, San Francisco, and Atlanta would fight in the West. The Braves would win it. I'm sorry, they would get three more chances. They won the division in 83 and would lose to Philadelphia, the Wees kids. They won the division in 85 and would lose to Jack Clark and the St. Louis Cardinals in six. And then would stun the New York Mets behind Earl Hershiser in 88. Hershiser set the record for most consecutive runs or consecutive innings without a run allowed. Pitch to Hooten. Fly ball to left, and that will hook foul. 
and the count is 0-2. And, and then a, you know how the 88 World Series ended. Pretty much at the end of game one when Gibson hit the homer to right center. Pitch to the 0-2 to Hooten is a slow roller to Randolph. Over to Watson for the out. We do the sneezes and now I sound all stuffy. Two out for Lopes is 0 for 1. John, 23 pitches through nine batters. Two and two-thirds innings, a hit, the home run to Monday. That's it. And that's the only run in the ball game. one nothing Los Angeles. Ball four, so Davey draws the walk. First walk from Tommy. And now I'll bring up Russell, who's 0 for 1. Lopes is going to steal. Two out, runner goes. Sarone throws down to Randolph, and Lopes has it swiped. So the Dodgers have a runner in scoring position and two out. John from the stretch. There's a slow roller to Nettles. He'll make a bang banger over to first. Russell is out by an eyelash, but it is an out. But the home run by Monday puts the Dodgers on the board. We go to the bottom of the third inning. one nothing Dodgers. Larry Milbourne looks like every ogre from a video game in that picture, doesn't he? 313, a homer, and 12 RBI. In the right field, Monday, one out. So Tommy John, we're not expecting much here. Ground ball to third, say... To Garvey and Say throws it away, and John will hold it first. The throw is in the dirt. Garvey does his good Eddie Jockerman impression and keeps the ball in front of him, but John is on with a one-out error. And that will bring up Randolph, who walked his first time up. So Hooten, 39 pitches through nine batters, two in the third innings, a hit, a walk, and three strikeouts. Randolph hits a base hit in the right center field. John will hold at second, and the Yankees are cooking now with one out. So here's Mumphrey. He struck out his first time up. Base hit, left center field. John will score. Mumphrey's digging for two. Randolph's into third, and we are tied at one. So here's Winfield. Dave is 0 for 1. Got him! A full count fastball looking, and there's two out. That's a huge out, and now here is Mr. October, and 56,000 rises one here at Yankee Stadium. Remember, they won a game seven. Pitch to Jackson. Got him! An 0-2 looking on the outside corner. And Hooten pitches himself out of the jam. One run, two hits, and one air. After three, the Dodgers won, the Yankees won. So here is Steve Garvey. He is 0-1. One for, one, oh for one. Say and Baker to follow. Popped up. Jackson, one out. Ron Say is 0 for 1. Hooten threw a lot of pitches in that third inning, but it's still 1 1. Ball four, so Say draws the walk. Second walk allowed by TJ. Here's Baker. Dusty's 0 for 1. Ground ball to Randolph might be two. They throw to Milbourne for one. The throw to Watson, and it's going to be a 4-6-3. So Tommy John induces the ground ball, and that will retire the side. No runs, no hits, no errors. Bottom four, 1-1. One, one. So Watson, Nettles, and Cerrone to face Hooten. Here in the bottom of the fourth. Here's a drag bunt. Jaeger picks it up, throws to first, and Watson is retired. That was more of an excuse me check swing that stayed fair. Here's Nettles. He struck out his first time up. In the right, Monday in a step or three, two out. And so Hooten might get the quick inning he needs. 
Cerrone is 0 for 1. And there's a fly ball left center field. Guerrero's got plenty of room back there. And that will retire the side. Yankees go in order. No runs, no hits, no errors. After 4, 1-1. One, one. I want to say that picture of Guerrero was actually from after Game 6 of this World Series. That big old smile on his face. He's 0 for 1. Tommy starts the fifth, a cold night here in New York now, 54 degrees, and that wind blowing in from Death Valley in left center field. Ground ball, base hit, right side. So Guerrero leads off the fifth with a single, second Dodger hit. Here's Monday, he's one for one. Tommy Lasorda was originally signed by the Philadelphia Phillies. He's from Norristown, Pennsylvania. And then was drafted out of the Phillies organization by the Dodgers. Pitch to Monday. There's a slicer down the line and right. That's a base hit. Jackson will pick it up. They'll hold Monday to a single and Guerrero will hold it second. Nobody out. Two on for Jaeger. So Tommy Toil in the Miners had one start for the Dodgers. And didn't even make it out of the first inning. Was later sold to the Kansas City Athletics. And then came back as a coach. Starting with Montreal of the International League, which was owned by the Dodgers. Yanger can't bunt. And that's going to get away from Cerrone. on the pass ball. But it won't count as a pass ball because Guerrero didn't run. Cerrone bobbled it, it, but it didn't get far enough from the plate for Guerrero to feel comfortable going to third. So it's a 2-0 count to Jaeger. And he slices this one down to Milbourne, and Larry couldn't make a play on it. And so the Dodgers, with nobody out, have loaded the bases. That was off Milbourne's chest, and it goes into the outfield. So... Hooten is looking. Do I squeeze here? He's a 10 bunner, so I think we're going to try it. A safety squeeze. Here it comes. The bun is down. Watson will pick it up. He'll throw it to first. And Hooten is out. Does the run score? Yes, it worked. The only play was to first as Guerrero's got good speed and the Dodgers go ahead 2-1. to one. The Yankees played for the bunt. John gave a slow curve. And it was bunted right to Watson who wasn't playing in enough and had to wait for Randolph to go cover. So the Dodgers have a big run in. Here's Lopes. He is walked 0 for 1 with a stolen base. So John, 18 batters, 47 pitches, 4 and a third innings, 3 hits, a home run to Monday, and 2 walks. This time around, Lopes hits a base hit in the left center field. Monday will score. Jaeger, who's pretty much down there on a power scooter, will hold it third. Runners on the corners and one out for Russell. And a 3-1 game for the Dodgers. So there goes Lopes. The throw is down to Randolph. And Lopes has it stolen. So the Dodgers, much like one of the ads here on the scoreboard at Yankee Stadium, is manufacturing runs like Manufacturers Hanover Trust. A big, big bank in the New York area for a long time. So small ball trying to win the Dodgers the World Series. Here is Russell again, a one strike count. But now a single makes it a 5-1 game. And there's a single and the lead is now 5-1. Winfield will pick it up. Nope, Lopes is going to hold it third. He's fast, but Winfield has a cannon out there and left. And so the Dodgers take no chances. 
and make it four to one. Here's Garvey. He is 0 for 2. Pitch from John is a base hit left field. Lopes will score. Russell will hold at second. And we'll come and get Tommy at this point. Five to one, one out in the fifth. So there are options here. They're going to go with Rick Russell. Whether that's right or not is not my concern. It's an exhibition game, technically. Russell went 4-4 four and four for the Yankees with a 2.67 ERA. And if you remember Rick Russell and the Yankees, give yourself a gold star. 70 and a two-thirds innings, or a cookie, one of the two. 75 hits, four homers. He walked 10 and struck out 22. He is 32 years old. Big Daddy is a ground ball plus pitcher, and the fastball tops out at 83. So runners on first and second, one out for Say, who is 0 for 1 with a walk. And there's a ground ball to Randolph. Should be two. Milborn for one. Watson for two. And so we are halfway home. The Dodgers get four runs on five hits and a big error. And they need 15 outs to win the championship. Halfway home. 5-1 Los Angeles. And if you were kind of flipping around the YouTube video figuring out what the heck to watch... Rick Monday got it started started in the third with a solo shot to make a one nothing Dodgers. In the bottom of the third, Jerry Mumphrey doubled home Tommy John to make it one one, and then the Dodgers erupted like Old Faithful here in the fifth. Bert Hooten with a sacrifice bunt, a squeeze play to score Guerrero to make it two to one, then Davy Lopes singled home Monday to make it three to one. Billy Russell singled home Steve Yeager to make it 4-1. to one. And then if singles are your thing, Steve Garvey will help with that. He singled home Lopes to make it 5-1. to one. So Tommy John's day is done. Four and a third innings, six hits, five runs, only four earned. He gave up the home run to Monday and walked two. Hooten, three hits through four. An unearned run, he's walked one and struck out five. Here's Milborn. Larry is 0 for 1. And there's a base little looper in the left center field, and the Yankees have their fourth hit. So let's see what they do with Russell. I imagine they're going to pinch hit for him. Jaeger and Hooten go out and have a conversation. They're not playing for the bunt. Are they going to actually have him hit? They do. He drops one down. Jaeger, easy sacrifice. 2-4, and Milbourne goes to second, one out. So Russell, who threw all of one pitch in the top of the fifth, will pitch the sixth. Here's Randolph. Well, he singled and walked. Hooten threw 18 batters, 73 pitches. Four and a third innings, four hits, a walk, and five strikeouts. Ground ball to Lopes over to Garvey, and there are two out. So Milbourne moves over to third, but if Mumford can't bring him home, it really won't matter. Jerry, one for two. He has struck out, doubled, and drove in that run in the third. This time around, it's a slow roar to Lopes over to Garvey, and the Yankees go down. They do get a hit, but cannot bring him home. No runs, a hit, no errors. After five, five one, Dodgers. So Dusty Baker is 0 for 2. He grounded into a double play. Lasorda, I believe, would make the playoffs in 95. Had the intestinal fortitude in the summer of 96 to drive himself to the hospital thinking he was having stomach pains, and it turned out he had a heart attack. And retired as a manager. And then pretty much did in the front office whatever he wanted to from there. 
Pitch to Baker. Here's a liner to Randolph, one out. He was a minor league coach for a long time and then became the third base coach for the big club in 73 and was immediately being groomed as Walter Alston's replacement. And when the Dodgers were out of it the last weekend of the 76 season, Lasorda took over. Guerrero won for two, singled and scored. This time around, he hits it one in the hole on the right side. Jackson will pick it up, and Pedro is on with a single, and Russell's hurt. And so Russell, not sure what happened. Doug Bird is the word, and he is the third Yankee pitcher. Bird went 5-1 and one for the Yankees with a 2-7-0 ERA. 53 in a third innings, 58 hits. Five homers, he walked 16 and struck out 28. 31 years old, he is a ground ball plus pitcher. Fastball, well, he shouldn't be pitching because he was gone on June 12th, but as we said, exhibition game, no notes. So Monday, two for two. wonder who they traded him for. In the right, Jackson has it for the out. Guerrero will not go to second. Brings up Jaeger, who's 0 for 2, with a run scored. Two out, top the six, 5 1 Dodgers. Guerrero on first. Ground ball to Milbourne, and again it plays him. The second error of the game for Larry Milbourne, and the Dodgers have two on and two out for the pitcher, Bert Hooten, who already has an RBI. Guerrero on second, Jaeger on first. Pitched to Hooten from Bird. And there's a ground ball to Milbourne. This time he'll make the play. Flips it to Randolph. And the side is retired. Dodgers strand two. No runs, a hit, and one error. Bottom six, five, one Dodgers. So Winfield, Jackson, and Watson to face Hooten here in the sixth. Winfield 0 for 2. Struck out. Grounded into a double play. This time he draws a walk. And that'll bring up Reggie. Reggie, one for two. He is singled and struck out. This time around, right up the box to Hooten. Lopes for one. Garvey for two. So a bang banger, and it's one for three. So two out for Watson. Who is 0 for 2 with a strikeout. This time around, a liner in the right field. Monday will make the catch, and that will retire the side. The Yankees, no runs, no hits, no errors. And a double play after 6 5 1 Dodgers. So it'll be Lopes, Russell, and, Russell and Garvey to face Bird here in the 7th. Lopes has stolen two bases. He's 1 for 2. He has single and walked. Scored a run and has an RBI. And there's a chopper to Milbourne, and Larry will just eat the ball. So Lopes has stolen twice already. The Yankees miss Bucky Dent something fierce. Here's Russell. He's one for three. He has singled and driven in a run. This time around, it's another ground ball to Milbourne. Only play is to first, and that's a bang-banger. And they got him by an eyelash. So Lopes moves to second. One out for Garvey, who was one for three. And there's a fly ball left center field. That's well struck. Murphy, M M Mumphrey will make the catch. Lopes goes into third. Standing and there's two out, so a single by Ronnie Say would make it six to one. Say 0 for two has walked and grounded into a double play. Nettles, Cerrone, and Milbourne for the Yankees in the seventh with the pitcher spot up fourth. In the right center field, Mumphrey going to be taken back to the wall and that will retire the side. Stretch time five one. <laughs>
It'll be Nettles, Cerrone, and Milbourne, as we said, to face Hooten. Craig is 0 for 2 with a strikeout. Eventually, he would find his way in San Diego. Pitch to Nettles is up the middle to base hit. He takes a wide turn but does not go, and that'll bring up Cerrone as 0 for 2. Hooten, they just need 9 outs now, and pitch count wise, he's fine. At 89. In the left field. Baker going to hook off the wall. Nettles around third. He's going to try and score. Baker to Russell to the plate. Yeager safe. So it's 5-2. to two, And here's Milbourne. He is 1-2. for two. There's nobody out here in the bottom of the seventh inning. Pitch to Milbourne. Struck him out. He got him on an 0-2 fastball swinging. And now the Yankees will need to go to the bench with one out. You're not going to let Doug Bird hit here. I don't think Bird ever had a legitimate at-bat in baseball. Unless he played for the National League. And here comes the Afro, Oscar Gamble. Gamble at 2.38. 10 homers and 27 RBI. Hooten about to go over 100 pitches. Ground ball to say, and that will lead him up. And so the air puts a tying run in Randolph at the plate. So Hooten, six in the third innings, 101 pitches, six hits. He's walked two and struck out six. Randolph is one for two of the walk. To Russell, this might be two. Lopes for one. Garvey for two. And again, Lasorda Magic makes way. Billy Castro, not Ken Castro, but Bill Castro is on the hill for the Yankees. The Dodgers need six more outs to win the championship. Castro... Again, another pitcher that shouldn't be pitching. 1-1, one one, a 3-7-9 ERA, 19 innings, 26 hits, 2 home runs allowed. He walked 5 and struck out 4. He is 28 years old. He is a fastball pitcher and a ground ball plus pitcher at 85. Dusty Baker, 0 for 3, grounded into a double play. Right back to Castro, over to Watson, 1 out. The Yankees will have Mumphrey, Winfield, and Jackson in the eighth. Guerrero, two for three. Has singled twice and scored. He punches that one in the hole on the right side. Reggie will pick it up, and that's the ninth hit. So five runs, nine hits, two errors for the Dodgers. They've left on five. The Yankees, two runs, six hits, and two errors, and they've left on five. Monday is two for three. Had the solo shot down the line and right. And scored twice. This time around, he grounds one to Watson. Milbourne for one, back to Watson. And that is a 3-6-3 double play. Bottom of the eighth inning. Hooten probably down to a base runner now. Dodgers six outs away, 5-2. So Mumphrey, one for three, a double an RBI, and a strikeout. If Hooten can maneuver through the eighth, he would bat second in the ninth, and I'm sure would get yanked. And it won't matter because Lasorda is trying to win this thing. That's a single to center. Hooten says, leave me out here. I'm fine. You got Howe, you got Stewart, you got Forster, you got Pena. Bullpen is not a problem. Winfield has grounded into one double play, walked, and struck out. He is 0 for 2. To Russell, this might be 2. Lopes for 1, Garvey for 2. 
And so Reggie Jackson, more likely than not, making his last at bat as a member of the New York Yankees. He is one for three. He has struck out, singled, and grounded into a double play. The Yankee fans don't realize that yet. Hooten has done yeoman's work. Here's the pitch. To Lopes, and it will retire the side. No runs. One hit and no errors. We go to the ninth. It's 5-2 Dodgers. So here's Jaeger, pinch hitter in Lopes. Hooten has a pitch count to go the ninth, but you don't need to. You're trying to win the World Series. Jaeger will bat. He's 0 for 3 with a run scored. And he sends this one in the left. Winfield runs in, one out. So who can hit a righty? How about Mike Sosha? 276, two homers and 29 RBI. And probably will catch the ninth. Castro deals. Ground ball foul, third base side. The count is two and two. Watson, Nettles, and Cerrone for the Yankees in the bottom of the ninth. Sosha to Nettles on the grass, and that's another error. So the Yankees' defense is really hurt. That's three errors. You can't give any team three outs. And that's what the Yankees have done to the Dodgers today. So Sosha on first for Lopes. Davey, two for three. A single twice. Stolen two, a walk, and an RBI. Castro deals. Base hit, right center field. Sosha will hold at second. Lopes on first for Russell, who's one for four. And so the Dodger fans can taste it now. Five runs, ten hits, two errors. They've left on five. The Yankees, two runs, seven hits, and three errors. And they've left on five. To Milbourne. To Randolph for the... And that throw goes in the outfield. So Larry Milbourne has grown goat horns. That's his third error of the ball game. So Gene Michael... Not going to get a ring doing that. Here's Garvey, one for four. He has singled and driven in a run. Sosha on third. Lopes on second. Russell on first. Pitch from Castro. Right back to Randolph. Only play is to first. Garvey is safe. He's safe, and it's six to two. It's a fielder's choice as Randolph stepped on the bag for one. So it's not a single, but it is another run. And that brings up Ronnie Say, who's 0 for 3. He has walked and grounded into a double play. And there's one right back to Castro, who can't play it. That's the fifth Yankee error. And it's 7-2, Dodgers. Here's Baker. He's 0 for 4. He's grounded into a double play. Castro deals in the right field. Jackson and the Dodgers need three outs. Two runs, one hit, and an inning that you wouldn't even tolerate in Fort Lauderdale. Three errors. 7-2 Dodgers. Righty, lefty, righty. It's a double switch. Dave Stewart is a 7 on the mound with a 1,000 fielding percentage, and Sosha is an 8 and a 5 in right. Guerrero will be replaced by Kenny Landro, who's a better fielder. He's a 4 and a 3. So Watson is 0 for 3 with a strikeout. Stewart, 4 and 3, 6 saves and a 2.49 ERA. In 43 innings and change, 40 hits, 3 homers, 
He walked 14 and struck out 29. He is a fastball pitcher at 91 and a ground ball pitcher and is only 24 years old. But he's three outs away from a ring. Bobby Mercer will pinch hit. Mercer at 265, six homers and 24 RBI. To Lopes, one out. Here's Nettles. Craig is one for three. He has singled, scored, and struck out. And this time he walks. And the faithful, who have remained, get their hopes up a little bit. Here's Cerrone. He's one for three. He has doubled and driven in one of the two Yankee runs. Stewart deals. To third, this might be it. Say the Lopes for one over to Garvey, and Lasorda has got a series. The Dodgers are the world champions of 1981. And they have come to New York and throttled the Yankees 7-2. to two. In two hours and 22 minutes, you might have even been able to get in an episode of Laverne and Shirley on ABC. Bert Hooten, eight innings, seven hits, two runs, one earned. He walked two and struck out six. Dave Stewart doesn't get the save. He walked the man, and that's it. Tommy John, in game six, four and a third innings, six hits, five runs, four earned. The home run... He walked two and didn't strike out anybody through 59 pitches. Rick Russell, Doug Bird, and Bill Castro filled in the bullpen in Castro with that bad inning with the defense gave up two earned in runs. Tommy Lasorda, of course, is your digital dice player of the game. It is his game. Seven runs, ten hits, two errors, and a trophy for the Dodgers. And all the pasta you can eat. The Yankees, two runs, seven hits, and five errors. And remember, this was the lineup the Yankees did use in Game 6. And so that'll do it. I'm Ron Juckett. Thank you so much for watching. We'll talk to you the next time as Tommy Lasorda wins his tribute game 7-2. to two.